Hi, this is John Roca with the director of this new film, Black Christmas, which is a remake of a remake, and then it's a reboot or a reimagining. There's all kinds of going on here. Thoroughly enjoyed it last night. The director, Sophia Takal, is here. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Yeah, I mean, you've been doing this all day, this pressing. Like, how are you feeling about, have you got all your emotions about the movie I, out? I, I have. I'm really, <laughs> really excited. I think it's a really fun, scary movie that has something to say about, you know, what it's like to be a young woman in 2019, and hopefully will give people a lot to talk about when they leave the theater. Well, it certainly did me. I mean, I went home, right home to my girlfriend. I was like, listen, I just saw this movie. I talked about this. I have to admire the gutsiness of the film. You go Thanks. right into this idea. <laughs> idea of male female relationships and college date rape all of this gets factored in in 2019 and you yeah. don't pull any punches i want to ask well, you <laughs> no honestly and i want to ask you what was that process like were you supported all the way through blumhouse were people worried about it how, how did this go about for you i think blumhouse is an incredible company that ma manages to make movies that are so fun and so scary mm. but also have something to say about the darker aspects of humanity and so that was one of the things that drew me to the project to begin with was an opportunity to work with blumhouse and make a movie in that vein yeah and you've been an actress for a while and you're kind of yeah. moving into directing mm -hmm. now how excited were you how did this come into to your, I guess, into your uh, view? How did this project come about? Uh, Blumhouse called me and asked me if I wanted to make a new version of Black Christmas. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, and it was really exciting. I love the original so much. I think yeah. it's so fresh and modern for its time and, and really an exciting movie. And I felt like 2019, with all of the conversations going on about what it is to be a woman and a man and, mm -hmm. and the kind of conflict between the two that's happening right now, it seemed like a good time to re-examine re the movie. How much did you um, have to work on, re on a reimagining of this particular film? Um, like, how much of it did you work with? The, did the script change a lot from when you first got it to when you finally started shooting? Yeah, there was no script. Uh, oh, when okay. Blumhouse approached me, they said, "Do you want to make this movie? You, there is no script, but you have to." shoot it this summer and it has to come out at the end of this year. So it was a really fast <laughs> process. Um, but, uh, you know, it was it was really important to me to make a movie that that, in, that was inspired by the way watching the original Black Christmas made mm -hmm. me feel. That movie made me feel like I was watching a movie about real women who were going through something really scary and yeah. were having fun together and it was about these female relationships and, and to make a movie that had those elements but set it today and dealing with the kind of issues that young women go through today. Yeah, putting this cast together, how was that for you? Was there a lot Was there a lot of sessions, a lot of conversations, or did you kind of just pick and choose from what these uh, great actresses yeah. are now? Did you, how did that come about? Um, all of the actors in this movie, I think, are incredible. I agree. And yeah. Imogen Poots is someone I had wanted to work with for years and years and years. I've been a fan of hers forever. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the actresses and actors in the movie, just they auditioned, and they it was just right away those were the exact people for mm -hmm. the roles. There was no question that each of the actors in the movie were meant to play those parts, and it was really wonderful to get to work with all of them. Oh, at the end, we have a weird look from Riley's yeah. character's face now. Is there, did you leave it wide open for possibility of alternate endings or a sequel that could go somewhere else um, with this? So that to my interpretation of mm -hmm. the ending is that just like in the original where you, you realize that the, spoiler alert, the killer has actually not been killed. Right. Um, I, I wanted to create this sense that the threat was still out there for Riley and also mm -hmm. for women in general that we can't just like fall asleep and, and think that our fight is over, that we always right. have to fight and be vigilant. And so that's what that look seemed you know, is for me. Yeah, in the end, you, that's what you seem to land on, this idea of needing to fight, this like, to, to keep the fight going, yeah. to go forward with the fight, and that it's never over, yeah. even in, in a moment where you feel comfortable about it. I like, that's one of the things I've been about, and I want to, uh, I'll end the, the interview with this last question. How important was it for you to get multiple points of view out there throughout the movie from different characters, so you were having these discussions, yeah. so no one felt left out who had a point of view right. on it in a certain way. You know, it's really important to me that everyone feels like their point of view is represented mm. in this movie, and that it's not just men versus women. There are different, you know, types of men, and there are men who like want to help and want women to thrive and succeed, and to listen and to be there and a, be a support system for women. Right. And then there are women who maybe are a little bit more ambivalent about you know, feminism and, and women's equal rights. And it was important to me to, in order to have an interesting conversation, I think you have to hear all points of view and mm -hmm. then kind of take from it what you want and yeah. have a conversation. I think that's one of the most powerful things about the movies. A lot of point of views get represented and there's no, yeah, there's all kinds of guts in doing it, putting it out there for people to converse. You didn't pull any punches and I think that's incredible. If you want to take Thank anything you. away from it, that it separates it from the other two versions of the film that's come before. So there thanks. you go. Thanks All right. Well, thanks everybody for watching this interview with Sophia Takala. She's the director of Black Christmas. Go see this thing. It's a, a lot of fun.